guys, good morning. Welcome to a vlog. Today we are getting our sofa delivered. We ordered a sectional, it's our very first sectional. We have been only living on like Ikea couches for the last like four years because they're so affordable, but they're not the most comfy. Um, so we finally ordered a sectional for this space and then this morning we moved the couch to the formal living room that we had that was empty. So I'm gonna show you what this space looks like right now. It's it's a pretty big um, living room space, which is why we really wanted a, a fluffy sectional to help fill it up. This is the angle here from the dining room. So there we go. So our idea is the sectional is gonna come in an L shape like that. And these two chairs are actually going to be kind of like over here um, to create a, a U shape um, in front of the TV. So yeah, I moved all the furniture. I actually am going to go run a few errands and then I'm going to rush back here and then hopefully I make it in like right in the delivery window. Um, they're delivering between 10.30 and 1 p.m., which is <laughs> kind of a long delivery window, but I'll be here today. I'm working from home today. Um, so yeah, I'll let you guys know when it comes. Oh, let me show you what the other couch looks like really quickly. So this is our formal living room right here and as you can see we still have a ton of boxes and stuff that we haven't unpacked but this is the only room that really has boxes downstairs and then we just moved that couch um, right here. Uh, I'm going to list it and then I want to get four chairs to create like a cozy sitting area right here and then maybe put a bookcase back there but my husband's family is coming in two weeks so we want to keep this couch here for the time being so that if people want to come and sit in this room they have you know a place to sit and have coffee and stuff like that and then of course i'm going to clear up all this crap okay guys so i am back from my errand the couch delivery people still haven't arrived which i'm really happy about because I was barely gonna get back like the beginning of the time frame. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna wash these dishes and try to clean up a little bit downstairs so that when they come it's a little, you know, more organized. This faucet is really cool and nifty and we actually installed it ourselves. We, Raj actually installed it himself. And the reason for that was that when we came, they had kind of like a standard um, sink faucet, which was so not well taken care of. It leaked. When you shut it off, it would still leak water. You had to do it like in a very specific way and slam it down. So we said, oh, no, 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 there's no way we're going to be able to work with that. So we ended up getting this one. This is only like 50 or 60 bucks. I think he got it on Amazon, but it is so awesome. The stream of water is really great, but Needless to say, this home was only, let's see, this home was built in 2019 and it's 2023 right now. So that's four years. This home was only four years old, but it was only rented before. So renters lived here and according to the neighbors, they had like several families and people coming. Like they didn't rent for a long period of time. I don't know what happened, why they couldn't hold down a renter. It was also kind of like COVID time. So I know like some stuff got like weird for a lot of people. Um, and difficult so I don't know what the heck the situation was but the people that passed through this house did not take care of it whatsoever the drain was clogged the water was overflow overflowing when we first came and my husband like we did drain X we did hot water he watched a YouTube he pulled out of the drain a rock a freaking rock like who puts a rock down the drain he pulled out a ball, like a plastic toy ball. He pulled out like a bunch of other stuff, like a clothing. People took a tag off their clothes and put it down the drain. Like, come on, that's just, that's just ridiculous. Like, I was a renter, and when we were renters, we didn't wear shoes in the house. The walls were like perfect. I took a magic eraser and like got rid of any scuffs. So, just sad to see like people, they didn't take care of this home essentially and now I feel really strongly about it because it's my home so we're gonna give her a lot of TLC we unclogged the drain but the dishwasher drain is also clogged and so we tried running the dishwasher and literally all the water spilled onto the counter so what I'm doing now is I'm just washing the dishes by hand and I'm letting them dry in the dishwasher I know some people hate it some people love it 
I personally never grew up with running the dishwasher. My mom, um, she's always believed in washing dishes by hand, but my husband's family lives and dies by the dishwasher. And I really do like it, like for parties and stuff like that, when you don't want anyone washing dishes, just put them in the dishwasher. It, you know, it's ease of life. The only downside is that if you're only two people, you kind of want to wait until the dishwasher is full until you run it, because you don't want to be wasting water. So I know they have some really cool new ones that they're, it's like one dishwasher, unit but it's got two separate drawers two separate sta stacks um, so you can wash half a load or a full load really depending on the amount of dishes but we're not making any of those upgrades just yet <laughs> there's like a ton of stuff to do um, so the main thing I've been doing like I said is washing the dishes putting them in the dishwasher to dry and what I like about that is I hate truly hate a sink on the island Ugh. If I could avoid it, like so many new houses have it these days, but I really just like having a sink on the island. I like having a sink against like a back wall, like in the corner. Um, and the reason for that is I don't like drying dishes on the counter. It takes up a lot of room on the island too. So this has just gotten me really motivated to wash dishes and have them drying in the dishwasher rack because it keeps my counters clean and I just hate clutter on the counters. I grew up with a lot of clutter and I feel like it's something that I just normally gravitate to. So I really work double time to try to avoid that and try to keep the counters as free from clutter as possible. So anyway, the sink that we have is also a dual sink, AKA it's not one big rectangle, it's got two compartments. And at our old place, we had one really big sink the pros of having the really big sink are that you can wash really big items in there, like your big pots and pans or baking sheets. It makes it really easy. But the con is that there's really no way to wash the way I'm washing right now. Because first rinsing the dirty dishes, giving them a scrub, and then placing them on the other side, like the clean side of the sink, to dry. And when I had just the one big sink, I feel like dishes would pile up and we wouldn't get around to washing them until the whole thing was full and we were forced. So having a small, like two smaller compartments, I feel like keeps me motivated to just wash the dishes in a more tightly way. I know everyone has their own system. But my friend Daphne always says she's got a really cool like words to live by. She says, never go to bed with a dirty sink. She, her goal is always to clean the kitchen and wash all the dishes in the sink as soon as she goes to sleep. So she doesn't wake up to a dirty kitchen. For me, last night after dinner, we were doing housework all day, so I literally KO'd. But I kind of agree. I feel like just making a goal of having washing the dishes at least once a day, even if it's at the end of the day, like you're not washing throughout the day, but at the end of the day, you're going to wash all the dishes and then you're going to leave them to dry, I think it's a lot more manageable. Really, it's not good to have like, dishes piling up. I'm not saying I never do it, put it in the but um, it gets stinky, like mold, and then you can have like, well, it tracks like critters, like animals, I don't even want to think about that, but there's a possibility, you know, if you've got like food out and stuff. So that's the dishwashing situation, the shawl home right now. So here they are delivering the couch. I did want to mention that we upgraded to white glove delivery service, which I highly recommend you do if you're ordering a couch of this size. Essentially, it's $300 extra, but what they do is they bring the couch to the room of your choice. It includes taking it upstairs if the couch is for upstairs or if you live on the second story, and they unbox it and take away all of the trash, which is a huge, huge thing. If you don't pay for the white glove delivery service, they literally leave the couch outside in your driveway and they leave it on crates, big wooden crates. So after you and your husband try to put it inside, you still have to figure out how you're going to get rid of all of that trash. Okay, she's all put together. Time for the reveal. Ta-da! So like I mentioned, um, the room is kind of like a big open concept. Um, so we set her up originally. So this couch is six pieces and we thought we were only going to be using five of the pieces and we were going to take one upstairs to be like a lounger in the bedroom. 
But after I set everything up, um, I realized we really needed that corner piece to kind of complete um, the dimensions of the roof and make the couch a little more even. So here it is right now. The original plan was that I was going to put two chairs right here facing this way to make it kind of like a U-shaped space. But the chairs that we have right now are really big. They're, they're too wide and then people can't easily access this area. So I'm not sure either we'll put the ottoman right here or maybe in the future I'll get like a couple of smaller lounge chairs that can still complete the space. But we'll see for now. This is it. She's super, super fluffy and comfortable. Um, but I will say after we ordered it, we were kind of hoping that we went with not so much of a stark white color because it's so hard to keep clean. Overall, I'm just like in love with the way it makes the space look. <laughs> it's very, very white, don't get me wrong. And one of the pieces was already slightly scuffed up when I opened it out of the package. So I was a little bit concerned. My husband and I are gonna have to scotch guard the crap out of this couch and I don't know, maybe get a sofa cover for when we have parties. Absolutely no red wine on the couch, no eating on the couch. If I have a dog in the future, she's not coming on the couch unless her paws are clean. Uh, but I ended up watching a bunch of videos because I was a little bit concerned and um, people said that, you know, usually it's really easy to keep the white couches clean. You just have to get like the special equipment and make sure you scotch guard it. And also these pillowcases, like the, the, couch covers are removable and we can wash them. So that's awesome. They're not removable from the bottom though, I don't think. So that's really my only concern is like, when you know people's feet are gonna get scuffed on the bottom, um, but we'll cross that bridge when it gets there. Anyway, yeah, so I actually just filmed a home tour. Yay! This was the day, it, everything set up and then I got ready, filmed the tour and now we're here just gonna enjoy this couch. And I'm definitely gonna need a lint roller. That's one thing I'll say when the couches are very white. It's only been, you know, a few hours and I can already see my hair clinging to the fabric. So just something to consider. Next, we actually just ordered a new TV console um, that's more proportionate with our TV. So I can't wait to show you guys. That one's gonna come in next week. We're gonna put it together and then my in-laws, like I said, are coming in two weeks. Oh my gosh, next weekend already now. So technically it's two weeks, like a week and a half. So we are on crunch time to try to get the house ready before they come. Thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask. I'm going to have the couch linked in the description box in case you guys want a personal for yourself. And then I'll be giving you periodic updates in the coming videos to tell you how it's holding up. Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm.